Hello Kim 107 students, this is Dr. Kim and we're going to have a quick video on how to write alpha, beta, and gamma decay or emission reactions. So first of all we need to know what the alpha and beta particles are and what gamma rays are in order to write these reactions. An alpha particle is four with a mass, so that's the top number and two protons, that's the bottom number. So four comes from two neutrons plus two protons in an alpha particle. So the total mass is four and mass is always the top number. Now the bottom number is always the number of protons only and there's two and that's why two is the bottom number. And then alpha kind of looks like a fish. So that symbol is an alpha symbol. So an alpha particle equals 4 over 2 alpha. Now beta is a high energy electron. Remember electrons have a negative charge. Now, because it's an electron, there are no neutrons or protons, so the mass is actually zero because there's no protons or neutrons in electron. The negative charge makes the bottom number actually a minus one. And beta is a B with a little tail right there. So a beta particle is zero minus one beta. And finally, we have gamma. Now, gamma is just a high energy wave. So a wave, right, a wave doesn't have protons or neutrons or electrons. So its mass is zero and the protons is zero. Gamma looks like that. So a gamma ray is symbolized zero, zero gamma in a chemical reaction. So now that we know those are, we are ready to write alpha, beta, and gamma decay or emission reactions. First up, we're going to write the alpha decay for 222 radon. So get your periodic table ready. We'll need the periodic table for this. When I give you 222 radon, I could also do radon-222. Those are the same things. I can give you either or. So that is the parent atom. We're going to start with it. 222 is in fact the mass number, so it goes on top. We need to figure out the protons, the bottom number for Rn. So we get our periodic table and we look for Rn and we see here it is. It's number 86. 86 is the proton number, so that is the bottom number, 86. We got that from the periodic table. We got that from the periodic table. Now, what comes next hopefully you learned from our lecture video is the arrow. Arrow is next. So we have 222 radon arrow and the alpha particle is emitted. That's why it's called alpha emission or alpha decay. Now we just learned what alpha is. It is 4 over 2 alpha. And now we have to figure out what this atom is on the product side. It's called the daughter. So this is called the parent and this is the daughter atom. We have to figure out what goes in the blank and we do this by the numbers. The top numbers have to add up and the bottom numbers have to add up. So take this as an equal sign. So 222 equals 4 plus what? So 218. 218 plus 4 is 222, right? Yeah. Now the bottom numbers. 86 equals 2 plus what? 
the 84. 84 plus 2 is 86. So now we have a mass of 218 on top and a proton number of 84. What has 84 protons? Look for 84. There it is. PO. PO has 84 protons, so P with a little O goes in the blank. And you will look for this daughter atom in a multiple choice type of question. So that's how I can do these in Canvas. All right. So there's your alpha example. Let's move on. Let's write a beta decay reaction for 99 technetium. So 99 is the upper number, which is the mass number. So we need to figure out the proton numbers. Where do you look for proton numbers? You're correct if you said the periodic table. So we're looking for TC. And there it is. TC is number 43. That's how many protons it has. So that is the bottom number. 43 protons in TC, technetium. What comes next? Hopefully you said the arrow. Yes, the arrow is next. Excellent. Now we need to write a beta particle. Do you remember what a beta particle is? Yeah, 0 minus 1 beta. And now we get to figure out the daughter atom by using the math. 99 equals 0 plus what? Well, it's 99 still. Okay, here's the tricky one. 43 equals a negative 1 plus what? I hope you said 44. 44 minus 1 is 43. So our daughter atom has 44 protons. The mass is 99. So we need to figure out who has 44 protons. So let's go to the table and look. Here's 44. It's RU. So RU is the symbol for the daughter atom. And that is our beta decay example. Perfect. One more to go. Let's write the gamma decay or emission reaction for 192 IR. That's iridium. All right. So, 192 IR. Now we need the bottom number for IR, which is the proton number. Where do we find the proton number? Yeah, it's from the table. So we need to look and find IR. Where is IR? There it is. So IR is number 77. 77 protons. Perfect. Okay, so that's my parent atom. 192 over 77 IR. What comes next? I hope you said the arrow. Good job if you did. Now, gamma is emitted, which is why it's called gamma decay or emission. What's the symbol for a gamma ray? Yeah, it's zero, zero, gamma. And now, we need to figure out the daughter atom. Gammas are pretty easy, aren't they? 192 equals zero plus... No, 192. 77 equals 0 plus 77. What has 77 protons? Well, it's still IR because that didn't change. So all that happens in gamma decay is we have an unstable high energy atom 
and it releases energy in the form of a gamma ray. And so we're left with a low energy atom. But it's the same atom. But it lost that energy in the gamma ray. So perfect. We have written an alpha, a beta, and a gamma decay or emission reaction. Good job, students. Check you later. Bye-bye.